Hello, hello. I've arrived. Yes, real quick. Hmm. All right, it seems that my notification thing is a little bit, uh, is having some issues here. But, uh, yeah. Ben, thank you for the follow. Yeah, I think, I think their username came up there for a little bit. I don't know if that was the whole thing. Yeah, that was a weird little thing. It's also not playing any sound on my end. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not hearing anything. It doesn't look like anything's coming up, so I think I'll probably have to look into that. Because there seems to be some issue. Anyway. Hello. Hello. I have arrived. We're really late today, huh? But yes. Anyway, it ended up as such because I was, uh... Yeah, I ended up uh, entertaining a guest who uh, is visiting from a, a far distant land today. But yeah, they are here in town. Not necessarily in town, but around the area for the for the holidays. And they are a friend of mine. But yeah, so that ended up delaying things a little bit. I tried to... I tried to... Uh, I don't know, we... I was almost on track to get things get things ready by 8, but, uh, or, you know, 8.30, but I had a lot of technical difficulties getting things set up because today I am playing a game on a, cult, on a console that we've not used for the stream before. And yeah, there's a, there was a lot of, of other things that went into this, but uh, a lot of other factors. But yes, anyway. <coughs> so, let's go over business real quick. We have no time to waste. Considering we've only got like an hour and a half to stream. But yes. So, video game. Tonight, we're going to be playing a game. I guess I'll, I'll get into that. I'll get into that. Yes, tonight we're going to be playing a game. Like I said, a game on a console that we've not played before on stream. Uh, I continue to have technical difficulties with dealing with it, but we'll get there one day. Anyway, so going to be playing a new game today. Yeah, I had originally, I mean, we were going to play a new game one way or the other, but I had originally planned on a different new game. This one was sort of a, not quite last minute, but was sort of an impromptu change of plans. But yes, due to, due to some circumstances that we'll get into later. Basically, I was having issues with the, I was having issues with the other thing too that I have yet to resolve and that I will need some more time to resolve. So I figured why not, why not give myself a lot of extra time by playing a whole other game in between now and that other new game. But yes, so that is that. Tomorrow, everything should continue to be normal, more or less. Well, I say continue to be normal. Things haven't started off normal, but things should resume being normal on, t on Wednesday. Then we should be seeing some more Tales of Arise. Uh, Thursday should be... I'm going to see what I can do. Because, you know, I'm going to be working a full a, uh, extra time on Thursday, most likely. I believe, as of right now, that I'm going to be needing to cover a shift for a fellow employee. And so, assuming that that is the case, I will be working extra, which usually leaves me with very little... Uh, energy with which to stream, which is unfortunate. But on the other hand, the Thursday stream is a you know the collab stream, the collab stream where I play with Sheppy Sheps, or rather Sheppy Sheps plays and I talk. <laughs> yes, and even if it was that wasn't the case, you know it's it's a visual novel that we're playing, Valhalla Cyberpunk Bartender Action. It's a visual novel that we're playing, so it's not the most demanding. So, probably that should still go off without any particular issue, but if I do feel particularly tired from that day, then that may impact things. But yes, other than that, let's see. Oh, right, Friday. <laughs> There's another of those days, huh? But yes, Friday, I also have some holiday-related plans that have come up in the time between this stream and our last stream. So I may have to I may have to modify the schedule a little bit for Friday, 
or I may have to cancel. I will do what I can to make sure that I do not cancel, if at all possible, but I can't guarantee anything. And speaking of other plans, I do have some plans also for the Friday of next week. So that might also end up, depending on what happens, that might also end up with me having to not stream that day. But yes, let's see, what else is there to say? I guess that's basically everything. Let's see, so tomorrow, Wednesday, 7.30 p.m. Central Time, Tales of Arise. Thursday, uh, 8.30 p.m. Central Time, yeah. Valhalla, Cyberpunk Bartending Action, VA11, All A, Cyberpunk Bartender Action with Sheppy Sheps. I think I said the time already. Uh, 7.30 p.m. Central Time, Friday. Uh, if, if I do end up streaming on that day, which is not a guarantee, but it's also not a guarantee that I won't. So, we'll see. But yeah, if, if I do not stream on that day, I will not have any opportunity to make that time up on Saturday or otherwise. Yeah, that will absolutely not be happening. <laughs> because I definitely have a lot of plans for Saturday and, and Sunday. Not impossible for me to do something on Monday. I don't think I expect anything then, but we will see. We will see. A lot of these things are very contingent. But yeah, I think that should cover the basics for right now. Like I said, we don't have all that much time, so I shouldn't get stuck in the weeds as I often do. So, instead, let's talk, let's video games, I guess. So, today, we are going to be playing a video game on a console known as the Wii U. But yeah, the Wii U. Honestly, the Wii U is my favorite, my favorite uh, home console. My favorite home console of all time, of all time. Big fan of it. <coughs> yes. What else is there to say? I guess there's not all that much to say about the Wii U specifically, because we're not going to be playing a Wii U game. Instead, you're going to be using the the Wii U's function of playing Wii games. Not enough. Not recognize my sensor bar for whatever reason. Maybe I'm too close. I didn't. I didn't take the time to adjust that uh, very much, which should, I guess, indicate to you that we're also not playing a uh, Wii game, <laughs> such that it would require use of the sensor bar calibrated and effective. Instead, you're going to be making use of the the Wii U's Wii E to play a d another game or another console. We are going to be playing Pokemon Snap. And so, accordingly, let me get the stream information updated. Pokemon Snap. Pokemon Snap. Part 1. And the category is Pokemon Snap. <coughs> There we are. All right, that should all be good. So, let us get started. Yeah, quite, an, quite a history I have with Pokemon Snap. One of the... Yeah, let's see. Definitely it was the first... It was the very first game, that I can recall at least, that I 100%ed. I was going to say it's one of the first that I've beaten, but that's probably not true. Yeah, it's one of the almost certainly the first that I 100%. That much I can say with a great deal of confidence. Yes, it's a game that I greatly enjoy as well. I can also say that with confidence. I can also say with confidence that we're not playing Tales of Horizons right now. So I should fix the part of the stream that says that. Huh. Missing out on this great intro. But yes. So, Pokemon Snap. Fairly long history of it. I originally had it on the Nintendo 64. I don't think I still have my Nintendo 64 copy of it. Yeah, I think that one way or another, I ceased to have possession of that at some point down the line. Unfortunately. But... 
Oh, well. Let's see. Yeah, so this is a game that I've beaten, I want to say... It's a game that I've 100 percented twice, and it's a game that I've beaten at least three times, possibly four. Which is in the extremely, extremely high... Extremely high range for me. It's very... Quite frankly, it's unusual for me to beat a game in the first place. For me to beat a game multiple times is almost unheard of. So that should give you an indication of about how much I like this game. But yes, so I did already delete my save file from earlier. My previous save file. And create a new one, because you have to create a new one to delete the old one. So now we're going to delete the... <laughs> delete the new one again, and make another new one. Uh, yes, unfortunately... Unfortunately, this is not a game that will allow my full name, Tiberius Vanderfield. Very few of them would allow that full title. But, since we can't put in all the characters, we'll put in the most important ones. The O is very important. You must not forget the O. I'm torn with, between whether to pronounce that as Tibero or as just Tiber. Because the O is silent. The O is not part of the... The O in the name Tiberius is not pronounced. That is not... That does not contribute to the sound in any way. Or at least it's not supposed to, because the name is typically not spelled with an O. When spelled correctly, it is not spelled with an O anyway. So probably I will... Flop back and forth between Tibero and Tiber. But yes, anyway... Hello there, Tibero. Ah, uh, I'm Oak, the Pokemon Professor. The reason I invited you here is this Pokemon report. I'd like for you to take pictures of Pokemon for the Pokemon report. Here on Pokemon Island, wild Pokemon can be found everywhere. This is my new invention, the Zero One Vehicle. You can take this on your trip. The Zero One Vehicle constantly moves towards the goal gate. Shall I repeat this information? No, thank you. I'll teach you how to take pictures on the first course. I'm counting on you, Tibero. All right. Beach. What a sunny beach. It looks great. I should get some awesome shots there. Yes. Not much of a beach fan myself. I'm much more so a snow appreciator. And so I appreciate the current season. But yes. I used to live in... I was going to say in a beachy area. I guess... I guess that's not incorrect. Hmm. Not a great picture there. Not the worst, but that's a... Ooh. I forgot about the stick being inverted. Get you indeed. Ooh, that's really going to bug me. Huh. Alright. <laughs> Man, it's been a long time since i played this, huh? Hmm. Well, alright. So, we got some bad Butterfree photos. We got a, some bad Doduo photos. We got a pretty good Pikachu photo, and I think there should be... Yes. Lapras. There we are. Very important that we get the good, the good Lapras photo. Or that we get a Lapras photo, at least. Yes, this is definitely the sort of game that is well-suited for, for me, I think. In, in some senses. But yeah, I'm a, I am a big fan of taking, taking photos, basically. But yeah, I like to, I like to document. Ooh, there we go. Very good, very good. Yeah, this, <laughs> this inverted, uh, I guess, yeah, a Y axis is very, very irritating to me. I might have been missing some more Lapras photos. Oh, nope. Not quite. Yes, getting good Lapras photos is the key to getting good Lapras photos. More specifically, to getting more good Lapras photos. There we go. Yes, another Meowth should pop out. Oh no, do duo. It might be a Meowth following him. Or perhaps not. Oh, okay. I wasn't too far off. Yeah, I've got to say, this is the, the first time in a good long while that I've known this much about a game going into it. Now, Chris. There we go. 
Time for the really good Lapras photos. Yes. I do enjoy greatly taking taking pictures during streams. But yeah, I often take many, many screenshots. I have been known to take upwards of a hundred screenshots in the in the span of a single stream. And given that that is what this whole game is about, it's a good fit for me. Yeah, I also don't remember the stick being quite this sensitive, but maybe it's just... Probably it's just that I'm out of practice. One oh, picture has been taken. 38 pictures have been taken. Alright, let's see what we've got. That's an okay photo. That's a much worse photo. Um... Alright, we don't have... We don't have very many good pitchy photos at all. I think this is going to be the one. I don't think we have any real choice in the matter. Um... Yeah, that's the only... The only good do duo. Either of these Pikachus are fine, but this one's more in the center, so I think that'll do better. Butterfree. Getting another Butterfree in the shot would be good. That one's not huge, but it's definitely larger than this one. I think that... I think the larger... Well, no, I think the extra Butterfree will probably get me more score than the... Just having a larger Butterfree. Let's see. Lapras. Yeah, lots of lots of Lapras photos. Perhaps an unnecessary amount, but let's see, I can't. Yeah, there's not one that has three Lapras in the shot, sadly. But we can live with that. Let's see, we've also got some Meowth photos. Ideally the Meowth should be facing the facing the frame, but it's in the middle of a special action here. The special action of being uh, horribly defeated in combat. Yes. I don't think we didn't. We definitely didn't have the opportunity to get much of a better Kangaskhan shot. Hmm. All right. I think this should be basically everything. But yes. That should be good. I think this is reasonable. Yes. Yeah, I've gotta say, it's it's been a very long time since I've played this game. It's been a very long time, or rather, I don't think I've ever played the game on a monitor that was this close. Because I'm definitely Yeah, I'm definitely noticing the pixels more than I than I used to in my in my time. I guess probably this might be the first time that I'm playing this game on an L C D screen, actually. I think in the past, yeah, I definitely, it's rel it's been relatively recently that I, well, not relatively recently, but it's been long enough ago since I played this game that I wouldn't doubt that I played it last on a CRT. Or at the very least, if I did play it on an LCD, it was one that was much further away. I'm currently playing it on my, like, uh, just my normal, normal computer monitor. Which may also not be super well suited for games of this variety. Anyway. But yeah, anyway. Pidgey. How's the size? So-so. Yeah, I should have gotten some, uh, should have gotten some pictures of the Pidgeys doing the... Yeah, using Gust. That would have been, that would have been pretty good. Wow. There are other Pidgey in the photo. Wonderful! Yeah, so to those of you who are unfamiliar, maybe I should go over the scoring real quick. Yeah, I don't know it in super great detail. Let me see. This is Do Duo. How's the size? Mm, 390 points. Mm, it's so so. How's the pose? 100 points. Mm, it's not very good. You were close. You were close, but you see, it disappoints Pokemon to be photographed from behind. So, yeah, so basically, you know, at the. in this game, in order to get good, good points, you need to get a good photo. And, you know, what is a good photo is somewhat subjective. But in, you know, within the world that this game is in, I guess in the, the context of this game, you know, you're collecting pictures of Pokemon for the purposes of a scholarly journal, you know, a Pokemon report. 
So it's not about aesthetic in so much as it is about getting, you know, novel behaviors out of the Pokemon, getting, you know, good, clear photos of them as much as possible. You know, something that is easily discernible. Yeah, something that's easily discernible, something that's noteworthy, ideally. So, you know, getting, like, if you fail in some aspect, such as shooting a photo of the Pokemon from behind, in this case, then that can prevent you, not only does that give you few points for what you are doing, it also prevents you from getting further points. Yeah, there's, there's a lot more that goes into it, but again, I'm not super well informed on the specifics. I've played the game a lot, but I've only ever played the game well enough to beat it, which I certainly intend to do. Yes, but uh, yeah, I've played the game well enough to beat it, not enough to be any sort of expert at it, I would say. Any sort of authority. Yes, this is Pikachu. 580 points, not bad. Those, okay. Technique in the center of the photo. Wonderful. Yes, very, very good. Yeah, again, you know, set size. You need to get a good size photo. You need to get a photo with the subject in the center. You need to get a photo with the subject facing the camera. All these sorts of things. Or at least, you know, maybe not facing the camera directly, but not facing away from the camera. Yes. It's kind of hard to tell what exactly is going to be a good pose and what isn't, sometimes. There are other Butterfree in the picture. Wonderful. Wonderful indeed. This is Eevee. Size? Mm, yeah, admittedly that wasn't a very good one. Pose? Pretty good. Yeah, I think, generally speaking, more motion dynamic poses are ideal. Trying to dredge up vague information, the, these vague inklings of, of knowledge from the, the depths, the depths of my, of my history. Yes, right in the center of the frame. Wonderful. Not bad, not bad at all. This is a pretty good Lapras shot, I would say. <coughs> Could have been a better Lapras shot, apparently, but... Yes, relaxed pose. Technique in the center of the frame. Yep. Wow. Another Lapras. Wonderful. Yeah. It might be... I know you need to keep taking pictures of Lapras. You know, I couldn't just, like, wait around for this, this final Lapras to appear. In order for successive Laprases to appear, you need to take pic pictures of previous ones. So, it might be... I seem to remember being able to get more than two in a photo at once. But that may... I may have missed one or two or something, such that the additional ones didn't spawn for this final photo. Because, yeah, I was definitely expecting a little bit better out of that. This is Kangaskhan. That's it. Yeah, throat's definitely a little bit, uh, a little bit sore today. Yeah, that's an unfortunate but common, common, uh, occurrence with the weather such as it is. Because, yeah, heating systems in general, uh, reduce the humidity of rooms. And lower humidity means, uh, yeah, that your throat dries out faster, among other things. But yes, definitely not going to get a good Kangaskhan photo, but you know. A Kangaskhan photo of any sort is better than none. Yeah. This is not a very large Meowth photo. But, since it's in the middle of, uh, pretty funny. Pretty funny. Since it's in the middle of being, uh, horribly assailed by these Pidgey, uh, it should, we should get a lot of points for that. Wonderful! Okay, we didn't get any points for that. Maybe I was supposed to take a picture of the Pidgey, and I was misremembering. Wait, Tybiro, let's return to the lab. I saw the pictures taken by Tybiro. I saved those pictures in the Pokemon report. <coughs> I'll help you out once you have more Pokemon pictures. Good luck, Tybiro. Oh, I've arranged it so that you can see the Pokemon report. Nice. So yes, you can go back. You can see all of the all of the points that you've accrued. You can see your best shots. Ah, okay. So this is okay. This this is your best shot in general. 
Alright, fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, I thought, for whatever reason, I thought that Lapras was just sort of worth more points than usual on account of it being, you know, yes. Lapras. Yes. I'm going to... Pardon. Go back to the menu here real quick. I need to change my options. Let's see. Hmm. All right, we don't need to move the screen around, I don't think. I don't... Whoop. No. Thank you. Yes. Normal, please. Stereo should be fine. I do, in fact, have stereo sound, so that's perfectly acceptable. I've been waiting for you, Tybiro. I expect you to take good pictures. You're doing a fine job, Tybiro. Choose. Go to course. Tybiro can go to the next course. Yeah! Oh. Yeah. Don't... There's other pictures I could take at the beach, but I don't think there's any more that I could take now. There might be one or two Pokemon that we didn't see. And we could definitely get better photos of some of the ones that we did see. But anyway, I don't know. Yes. Yeah, I don't really have much of an objective in, in mind for this playthrough. It's just sort of a very, very chill sort of playthrough, I guess. Yes, if you keep taking pictures of this Pikachu, it will do that. Very fun. Ah, right, right. Dazed, defeated. He flees. Alright, that was a pretty bad Kakuna picture, but... Yeah, I don't think at this point we have any way to influence the Kakuna. But, we can respond... We can respond to other factors impacting them. The explosions of these Voltorb, if you'll notice, bring the Kakuna down from the ceiling. Alright, pretty bad Zubat, but, you know, not the worst thing in the world. Hmm. There's another Pikachu over there, but I don't think I'm going to get a better Pikachu photo, so we're not going to worry about it too much. There's this strange thing here. I wonder what that could be. There's also these strange things over here. There you are. I was expecting you to come up a little bit earlier on the previous course as well. Alright. Pretty bad... Yeah, pretty bad Z-Bat photos, but we'll take what we can get. But yeah, I don't think I'm going to get a good Electabuzz there. There we go. And... A little friend here. Eaglet. Oh, these little guys. <laughs> oh, I should have gotten a surprise photo of the Pikachu also. But yeah, you can definitely get a lot of good results. A lot of the sort of, uh, yeah. A lot of what you will want to aim for is getting successive shots of certain Pokemon. Because that will, yeah, put you in better a better position for later on down the line. I wonder what all this junk is here for. It's interesting shape, huh? Well, no need to worry about it, I guess. But yeah, these little guys don't like taking having their pictures taken, which is fair. I don't like that, that too much either. But, they will oops, join up a little bit. Unfortunately, we can't make them join up into a group of three at this point. But, you know, it is what it is. I gotta say, I definitely... I am I like a lot of the Pokemon games from the uh, Nintendo 64 era. There were a lot of especially good ones during that time, I think. Or rather, I don't know. I just have a lot of fond memories, in particular, of yeah, Pokemon Snap and the two Pokemon Stadium games. I feel like those were a lot of fun. That's it. <clears throat> but yeah, they're a lot of fun in just sort of a very simple, straightforward way, I suppose. This isn't to say that other, you know, 
Pokemon spin-offs since then haven't been haven't been good either. But, you know, it is what it is. Also, just so you know, I can use the album mark to save my favorite pictures in the album. So yes, so if you do have a photo that's particularly that you find to be particularly aesthetically pleasing, you can save it for yourself. Yes, we want a good centered photo. Hmm. This is I'm 100% certain this is better than the beach photo. This is a pretty fun photo, but this is going to be the best one, I think. You might also like the the Pikachu sort of in a dazed state. But I think I think the one with it on the ball on the electrode is going to be better. That one's more centered, but I think this one is centered enough to count as centered. Yes, electrode. Yes, while it is exploding, I think is ideal. That's not really centered. I think that might be a little bit better. Electabuzz. Oh, we only got one Electabuzz. Huh. I, I got one while it was being exploded by a Voltorb, but. Let's see, that's three. That one's smaller and less centered, but there's more Pakuna in the photo. So I think we'll go with that one. Let's see, we didn't... We got better Zubat photos than I was expecting, to be honest. I think that should count as centered. That's a pretty good magic card. I don't remember how to use the album mark. Hmm. Yeah, that's fine. Um, Haunter. Amazing what happens when you take pictures of things, huh? Yeah, that is nothing. Yes, of course we will. Yeah, you only get one Diglett. You only get one Diglett one way or the other. I feel like that's going to be worth more pose points. And of course, the Doug Trio. It's an easy, easy option. You gotta choose the one with the trio of Doug Trios. And let's save a few. Oh, hold on. There's the... Oh, I completely... <laughs> Somehow I managed to completely fail to notice that I had taken, like, multiple pictures of Haunter. None of these are particularly good, I don't think. But this one's big, and it's not facing away from the camera. It's not facing towards the camera either, but you know. <laughs> I like that. Hmm. I wonder if there is. Hmm. I don't do. Yeah, it'd be nice if there was a way to more quickly indicate what photo goes into the album and what doesn't. Like, without having to, you know, go in and go out of the, the little picture display. I guess, again, this was designed for very sort of small screens. Well, not necessarily small, but generally smaller screens. And definitely for screens that you would be further away from. You would typically be further away from the television than, than I am now. Or at least from, than I am from the television equivalent that I am making use of right now. I think that's all the photos I want to save. And I think that should be everything that we needed to take a picture of. Or at least every a picture of everything that we did take a picture of. But I do want to double check real quick. Yeah, we got Pikachu's, we got Electrodes, we got Kakuna, we got Zubat, we got Electabuzz. Not a very good Electabuzz, but we'll take it. We got a Magikarp, we got a Haunter, we got Diglets and Doug Trios. I think that's about everything that we could expect for right now. Yes. But yes. So. Oh, I just realized I wow. forgot. I forgot to do my new intro again. I forgot to do my new intro again, which is unfortunate. But yeah, I definitely don't have it written down on this computer, which I should remedy one of these days so that I can, you know, know what it is. But it is what it is. Which I guess that's what it is. Anyway, Pikachu on a ball. Wow, is it this Pikachu on a ball? Pikachu on a ball has a value of 600 points. Pikachu's picture is in the Pokemon report already. How's the size? 
Mm, so so. How's the pose? 1,000 points. All right. It's very nice. How's the technique? Okay, the Pokemon is right in the middle of the frame. I can double the score for you. So yeah. So, you know, specific circumstances. Specific circumstances can result in you getting a much better picture than previously. Sit. Even if certain aspects of the picture are worse off than before. So yeah, select the buzz. Mm. I don't think this is a very good Electabuzz Buzz photo, photo, but it, you know, we'll live with it. Wonderful. Better than I was expecting, but not amazing. Yes, this is Electrode. How's the size? Good. How's the pose? Oh, it exploded. How's the technique? Right in the middle of the frame. Wonderful. Double the score. Pretty good. Kakuna. Yeah, I could have gotten a much better Kakuna if we'd been a little bit quicker on the draw with that electrode earlier. But yes, not very good close. size. Yeah, and that was small enough that I yeah didn't get to go further on. Once again, demonstrating that if a particu any particular aspect of your photo is especially bad, then that can disqualify you from further points. But I think I probably want to go back and get a better, get a better Kakuna photo. Maybe, because yeah, the amount of points that you get is relevant. It will be it will be important later on down the line. Yes, this is magic card. Eh, so so. How's the pose? It splashed. Good. How's the technique? Right in the middle of the frame. Wonderful. An okay photo of a magic card. Yes, Zubat. Size. Okay. Pose. Pretty good. Technique. Not as in the middle of the frame as I, as one might might think, but, you know, Wonderful. it's good, it's good. I can't complain. Yes, Haunter, size, very big. Yes, Pose, pretty okay. Technique, right in the center. Wonderful. Good Haunter photo. Couldn't have been much better, to be honest. Yes, Diglett. Yeah, I think the size is a little bit worse than the other good Diglett photo, but I think we're going to get a lot more points on the Pose. It is trying to go underground. Now's the technique, right in the middle of the frame. Double the score. Very good. And Doug Trio. I don't think we got any other photos sub to submit after this one. Yeah, it's a very good Doug Trio, I think. How's the size? 970. Very good. How's the pose? Trying to go underground. How's the technique? Right in the center of the frame. Double the score. Other Doug Trio. Extra 480 Wonderful. points. Wonderful. Very good, very good. Wait. But yes, let's return to the lab. Yeah, you really can go through this game pretty quick when you when you know what you're doing. I remember way, way, way back when, when I was but a a small a small creature, a tiny being. I was very bad at this game. <laughs> and it took me many, many attempts to get any good photos or achieve any decent scores. You take pictures at a good pace! To make your work easier, here's a present for you. It will come in handy for taking Pokemon pictures. Would you like to be closer with Pokemon? And use this apple-shaped Pokemon food. It's easy to use. When you are not focusing your camera, press A to throw it. Pokemon in the distance will happily come closer when you use this item. If you want to throw farther, look up slightly, then throw. Here's a hint for you. Throw some Pokemon food to an electrode that's not moving and see what happens. Good luck, Tiberio. Shall I repeat this information? No, thank you. Yes. So, time for more progression. I guess since I don't have the specific goal of trying to, you know, since I don't have any specific goals, we might as well just play this game at a at a decent pace. You know, I should one. You know, I don't need to drag this out any. I just need to again get the other game ready before before. I am done with this game, and it should take at least, you know, I'm not going to have to do it this week at least. I'm not going to have to do it this week at least. So I think, honestly, if I am able to beat this game today, which I don't, <laughs> I don't think I will, but if I were to, even if I were to do that, I'm pretty sure I'd still have it ready by next week. So 
Yes. No reason to drag things out, I say, standing perfectly still on the main menu, doing nothing. But yeah, I remember another thing from when I was very small. From when I was very small. I remember seeing that, that picture. I remember seeing that picture. Or not that picture, sorry. That uh, telephone there. And being utterly baffled. Completely stumped. Oh, also. Let's bother the Selectabuzz. Hey. Alright, let's... Oh. Alright, well... I was hoping that you'd turn around and face me, but, you know... Maybe out of some degree of thanks for me making you not explode, but... Let's see, we should get some Kakuna... Hmm. Not here, though. Alright, get me a good Kakuna photo. Thank you. Very good, very good. Yes. Missed an opportunity for a Zubat, but I don't think we're going to get a much better Zubat than we did, to be honest. Alright, I want to get a picture of you from the front. Ideally. It's hard to judge which side is the front on these creatures, I guess, but... Yeah, one thing you can do with apples, or sorry, with apple-shaped Pokemon food, is you can throw it into water, which, you know, gets you results. But it also gets you the ability to uh, cause other Pokemon to spring up from the water. Let's see... Can I particularly interest you in some apple-shaped Pokemon food? Yes. Ooh. Pikachu and Diglett, or Dugtria, rather. And, ooh, nice, nice, nice. Yeah, those, these phones around here, I was always so interested in them. I felt like, I assumed that they must be able to, if I were to hit them in just the right way, it would trigger something. Like, if I managed to just hit the, the top, the red button on the top, that would result in, in something happening. I didn't know what, necessarily, but I was sure that it would be something. And I was sure that it would be something that I would like. Alright, we don't want this a picture of Magnemite from behind. That's no good. Oops. Sorry, there. But what we do want is a picture of multiple Magnemite together. Because three Magnemite makes a Magneton. The Magneton is not photo-shy. Alright. I say that as Magneton backs away from us, but... Yeah, Magneton's another interesting case in that, you know, the center of it, in theory, would be the center of it. But that is not, you know, where you can take a picture of it from. Yeah, did miss out on, the, on another opportunity to go a little bit faster there. But at least we got some new nice photos. 35 new photos, indeed. Um, let's see. This is almost identical. So I guess we might as well compare it with the fallen Pikachu. The defeated Pikachu. That's almost, almost shot for shot exactly the same. Oh, I didn't need to do that, but... Yes. Hmm. I don't think this is going to be a very good photo. But it's better than the other one. I want to make sure I get the, a photo of it while it's still in its sort of animation there. Because I think that's going to get me the best results. Um, okay, there we go. That's four Kakuna. That one's more centered, but that one's a little bit bigger. I think this one is centered enough. But it might also be centered on the one in the back, which we don't want. Because that one's smaller. Alright, so this is also a Haunter. I thought that was a, ga or a Ghastly. Yeah, I don't think we can really compete with the, with the Haunter that we already have. Mm, I don't think that's going to compete either. Of course, you know, any amount of Magnemite is better than the Magnemite we had before. I don't think the... Yeah, this is from behind, so I don't think that's going to count. Magneton. I think even with the... As much of the Magneton as is cut off here, I think that should still count. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, because yeah, getting this range in the background won't affect anything. That Electabuzz is just in a perfectly neutral, normal pose. Hmm. I think this should be fine. I don't know that the game counts obstructions as long as it can recognize the Pokemon is there. So I think we'll go with this. Yes. Nothing there I particularly wanted to save, I don't think. That's it. Hmm, what's new this time? Let's see, this is Electrode. Oh yeah, it is almost identical, but slightly smaller. It's gonna be... yeah. Oh wait, other Electrode? Huh. I didn't notice there was another Electrode, but unfortunately it was not enough. Um... Might as well just keep the one with a higher score, really. Yes, Pikachu. Yes, not a special Pikachu. It is merely a Pikachu that has been thoroughly defeated by life. Yes. Bigger size, much worse pose. Uh, okay technique. Yeah, I was thinking... I was thinking that Pikachu... be like, recoiling from the explosion was worth some points. But I suppose not. Yes, Kakuna. Kakuna, this is a much better Kakuna. Uh, well, not that much better, but at least this is going to get me into the running for other prizes. Good pose. Good technique. More Kakuna. Extra 570 points. Very good, very good. Electabuzz. That's much better than this Electabuzz. Yeah, pose. Must be angry. Yep, yep. Technique. Right in the middle of the frame. Well done. Double the score. Much better. Okay, okay. Magnemite. Nothing to compare it to. 370 points. 1,000 points for pose. Very good, very good. Right in center. Wonderful, wonderful. And Magneton. How's the size? Not great. How's the pose? 1,000. Very good. How's the technique? Very, very good. Wonderful. Yep, like I said, it doesn't matter that, you know, most of the Magnemite is not visible because there is there is a whole magne, Magneton Welcome or Magnemite uh, unit in the Magneton that is visible. And that's all we need yes. to worry about. But yes. So... That's more or less all of the business that we need to take care of here immediately. But, there is one more thing that we have yet to see. Yes. I wonder if we can... Given that the... Let's see, what do we... What could we go for that would be better? I don't know if there's any real improvements that we can make. We could possibly get a better... We could almost certainly get a better Electabuzz. Yeah, I don't know. That might be a better Electabuzz. Here's some apple-shaped Pokemon food. I hope you feel better, buddy. We could actually probably get a better Electrode, actually. Actually. Yeah, those are almost certainly better Electrodes. Let's see if we can fish up a new, a new Pokemon to take pictures of. And when I say let's see, I legitimately mean that I do not recall if there's one, if there are other fish Pokemon to be found in this particular locale. Because yeah, I know that there's the, like I like we've seen already, the Magikarp that pops out of here consistently. I don't know if there's other ones though. Now there's a part of me that wonders how Magikarp get into a location like this. I guess Gyarados can fly, so. Maybe, maybe they just sort of decided to, to leave some eggs in here. Magikarp can live basically anywhere, if I remember correctly. So, not necessarily unreasonable. So yeah, it must be angry there, but I think the, the passed out magnet, or Electab Electabuzz, is probably going to be worth more. Hmm. If I really finesse this, I can maybe get two Electabuzz in the shot. And that might be worth a little bit more. But I don't think I'm going to get a good enough shot to really warrant it. Because yeah, that other one's really big. Really big in center. 
So we could go for a little bit better of a score on some of these. Like, that's probably a much, much better Magnemite. But that right there is a much, much better path to take. Very nice. All right. One picture has been taken, or 17 pictures have been taken. I was a little bit worried there initially because I kind of forgot whether or not the, uh, I kind of forgot whether or not, uh, unlocking that path would allow me to make my report at the end of this. I'm very glad that it did. Hmm. Um, I think any of these should count, really. This is the funniest one to me. I'm going to put it in the album also. Yeah, this this one's funnier, I think. Alright, that one's fine, but I don't think it's going to be a real winner. That one's pretty good. Yeah, a little bit of a short one today. Today, I say. A little bit of a short one this time, but not too, too bad. <coughs> a few improvements. It's Electabuzz. Electabuzz is in the Pokemon report. Size... I guess maybe I could have had more of it in frame. You were close. Hmm. All right. Fair enough. Well, I could have. Uh, I could have done better there, I suppose. Electrode. Size one thousand. Pose. It exploded. Technique. Perfect. Well done. Yes. An easy, easy victory. Magnemite's picture. Size, 280. Worse size. Pose, also worse. Um, wow. are we... Hmm. We're gonna get extra Magnemite, but I don't... Yeah. It is not sufficient to get us a better picture. It's... Yeah, that definitely wasn't a very good picture, to be honest, but... Oh, well. Let's return to the lab, indeed. Welcome back. Welcome back. Ibiro, you found a split in the path. According to my research, that split should link to a new course. I've also made a link for my lab. You should go right away. All right. So, yeah. new course. Volcano. It is even hotter now. Roger. Yes. Yes. I gotta say, the, the sort of landscapes almost seem like they... seem like they might be a little bit better than, they, than I remember them being. Sort of the close-ups, I feel like, are a little bit worse. It might also just be how the Wii U renders it. It might have, uh, yeah, it might have been on the Wii or, or on the Wii the last that the was the last time that I played this, which could have some impact on the have some impact, positive or negative, on the graphics. Also, I've got to say, I really like the volcano music. I'm thinking, ah, oh, and the eh. A moment to appreciate that. You know what? I'm going to take a... Okay, there we go. I was going to say, I'm going to take a moment to double check that I have game audio. Because I did check that beforehand. Check that beforehand a little bit ago. Before I started, but... I wanted to make double double sure. Combat continues. Oh, wait. Right, right, right. Right. I forgot about that part. Yes, yeah, so this is a great opportunity here. There's a strange object. No idea what that could possibly represent. And there's also a whole bunch of little fellas here. One over in the distance who's not super drawn in by everything that's going on, but I can, I can persuade him, I think. Everybody loves some apple-shaped Pokemon, too. And everyone loves it so much that they invite their friends to enjoy some. Even if they get a little bit, uh, a little bit banged up. 
Look at all these little guys. Are indeed. Yeah, I think this is all of the Charmander we can expect to find in this particular location at this particular time. <laughs> Alright, so, there's a thing in our way. That's no good. Goodbye, and hello. Yeah, Moltres. One of the very few Pokemon games in which you can find a, a legendary Pokemon in an egg, I think this is. But yeah, let's see. I know you can get, you know, you can get Manaphy in an egg. You can get eggs of any of the... Any of, uh... Yeah, yeah. Any of, uh... Giratina, Dialga, and Palkia in Heart Gold and Soul Silver with the uh, right event Pokemon. Take a good Charmeleon. Oh, well. Want some apple shaped Pokemon food? No? Fair enough. Not in the mood, I get it. I get it. Maybe you've eaten a lot. Why not take a bath? Ooh. <laughs> Very last minute photo there. But it was successful, I suppose, so I can't complain. One picture has been taken. And 38 pictures have been taken. Rapidash. That's probably going to be our best Rapidash. Let's see. Volpix. We got a lot of... We didn't get as many Volpix as I thought we did, huh? <clears throat> Now that should count for three, I think. Or no, two. Yeah, there's only two. I only got two at a time. Yeah, Magmar. That doesn't feel like a Magmar photo, but I guess Magmar is the closest to the center. Yeah, I think that's a much better size, but this is going to be better for points because of the pose, I think. So yes, Charmeleon. This is, I think, also a special pose where it's evolving, where Charmander's evolving into Charmeleon. But that's a pretty bad Charizard, but we'll live with this. That's a pretty good Moltres. I don't think I could have gotten a much better Moltres. Let's see, that has as many Char... Eh. No, that one might be from behind. So I'll go with the one that has a Charmander doing a pose facing the camera, and has all six of them. Hmm, alright. That should be it, then. Alright, alright. Do I want to save any of these? Not really. Hmm, you know what? Honestly, we'll save that. I really do like the, the Charmander. The Charmander part. That's definitely... Yeah, it's, this is a small little game. It's a small little game, but that's probably my favorite part of it. Just, just being there with the Charmanders. Because it's it's one of the few parts that you can just, like, indefinitely forestall. Because, you know, you can't stop at any point. Or you can't stop normally at any point. That is one of the, the very few places in the game where you can simply take your time. And simply take your time, and that's pretty enjoyable. Yes. Sip. Yes, that is Rapidash. Size, good. Pose, it is neighing. Technique, right in the middle of the frame. Double the score. Very good. Yes, Vulpix, good size. Could be better size, apparently. Pose, happy, nice. Technique. Right in the middle of the frame. There are other Vulpix in the picture. Wonderful. Yes. I guess, yeah. Since it doesn't get multiplied, I should definitely prioritize other things over the multiple Pokemon bonus. Yes. Magmar. 340 points. Pose. It looks hot. <coughs> Technique. Right in the middle of the frame. Wonderful. Not bad. Not bad. Pardon once again. 
Charmander. Size. Pretty bad, apparently, but I still managed to get through, I guess. Doesn't like the pose. I thought that was a special pose, but I guess maybe he would have preferred it if the Charmander was happier. There are other Charmander. Okay, a lot of points there. About as many, almost as many points as I got for everything Wonderful. else combined. But yes, Moltres. It is Moltres. Hmm, could be a bigger Moltres. What a wonderful pose. 1350. Yes, right in the center of the frame. Wonderful. Double. Yeah, not going to get multiple Moltres in that photo, unfortunately. Charmeleon. Hmm, could be bigger. Pose. 750. Technique. Very good. Wonderful. Double the size. Or double the score. And Charizard. I hope you like this one, because this is the only one that I got. 800 points. How's the pose? 1,000 points. How's the technique? Right in the middle of the frame. Wonderful. Very good. Yeah, we're at a pretty good, uh, pretty good, pretty good place for score. Pretty good. Welcome back. Welcome back. You are doing a fine job, Tibero. Choose go to course. All right, apparently we're not doing it that yeah. good. Oh, never mind. Right, right, right. Okay, so I think... I don't know, we might be a few courses out before we... from when we need to start getting specific scores in order to succeed. Yes. Yeah, honestly, this might... This playthrough might only take one or two parts. It's going a lot faster than I was expecting, to be honest. Which, considering I mostly chose it... I chose it as much to fill time as because I wanted to play it. Which isn't to say that I didn't want to play it. It was on the list. It was on the list. But I specifically chose to do it now because I needed something that would be that I knew would be quite short. But uh, yeah, it's turning out to be even shorter. Yes. This is a very aqueous region. So we might be able to get some other, other, uh, fish Pokemon. Hey, Slowpoke. You seem like the type of person who likes some apple-shaped Pokemon food. So why not get some apple-shaped Pokemon food over by that sign there? Pretty good shelter photo. Yes, apple-shaped Pokemon food there, my friend. Perfect for you. And just wait for the perfect shot. You know, could have gotten a lot better shot, to be honest. And maybe I should have uh, tried to position that slowpoke better. Maybe I should have taken a picture of that slowpoke, to be honest. But given how close it was. But it is what it is. Ah. I was going to say, I thought that I could... Uh, influence these Metapod by hitting them with an apple-shaped Pokemon food. But it would seem that they are impervious. Alright. Psyduck has been successfully bothered. Ooh. Hmm. Let's see. I need to successfully bother another, at least one other Psyduck, I'm pretty sure. I'm missing some a good shot behind me. But at least I got a a shot. Yeah. So definitely could do with better Ah right. Oh no. Yeah, could do with some better What sort I'm looking for? Yeah, could do with better shelter shots, could do with a better slow bro shot. Could do with a better Ah, here we go. I was going to say, could do with a better cloister shot. Could have done with a cloister shot at all, but at least we got one now. Now, Pikachu. Ah. Very good, very good. Not the most insightful commentary I gave just there. Pikachu being fast, but we'll take what we can get. And what we can get is 37 pictures. Mm, only two polywags, and they're both pretty bad. <laughs> they're both pretty bad pictures. 
Bulbasaur is also uh, not good, but I don't know what this what this will be. I'm curious how that will compare. It's a much better or it's a much worse shot by most standards, I think. All right, I think this should count as fishing, since this is a special. You know, it can't face you while it's fishing necessarily. I think this should count as still being from the front. Let's see, Shelder. I don't have any good Shelder size photos. So we'll just have to do with an okay Shelder quantity photo. That, either of these should be basically the same. Yeah, Psyduck. The jumping Psyduck is better. Less centered, but we'll live with that. Cloyster. We've only got one Cloyster. Pikachu. This is a much worse size, but it should be something. Special Pose might not really win it for us, but it should still count, and that could give us some additional benefits. Yeah, have fun with Snap. I unfortunately have to sleep right now, but good luck. Thank you all. But yeah, good to have you here. Hope you get some good rest. Sit. Let me see. This is Poliwag. Size, very bad. Not not worth looking at for the good professor, unfortunately. Bulbasaur. Size, also close. awful. Yes, Magikarp. Already in. Bigger. Which, I guess. I guess. Yeah, pose. Identical. Technique. Also good. Well done. Perfectly acceptable Magikarp photo. Much worse. <laughs> It's much worse, but yeah, much worse from an aesthetic standpoint. But again, that's not what our our good friend Oak is concerned with. But yes, not a very good. Um, yeah, really, really quite not good, unfortunately. Yeah, we need better shelter shots, I guess. Yeah, slowpoke size good pose. Looks like we're going to fish. Technique good, good. Wonderful. Not bad. Exactly 3,000 points. Yeah, slow, bro. How's the size? Uh, very bad. How's the pose? Not much better. Well, in fact, worse, actually. Worse. <laughs> the pose is worse than the size. I think this is probably the worst photo that we've managed to sneak by Professor Oak thus far. Wonderful. Wonderful nonetheless, though. Yes, Metapod. You were close. Aw. Uh, yeah. Alright, side duck. Size, good. Pose, nice jump. Technique, right in the middle of the frame. Wonderful. Double the score. Wonderful. Cloister. This is Cloister. How's the size? This is okay. How's the pose? Pretty good. How's the technique? Right in the middle of the frame. Wonderful. Very good. Wow, isn't this Speed Pikachu? Speed Pikachu has a value of 800 points! Pikachu's photo is in the Pokemon report already. How's the size? Mm, this is not very good. Close. Yeah, I wasn't expecting much out of this. This one looks better anyway, so... Wait! Wait! It's returned at the lab. Welcome back. Welcome back indeed. You take pictures at a good Here's pace. A present for you. To make your work easier, here's a present for you. Ooh, I couldn't. I did not hit that note, unfortunately. It will come in handy for taking Pokemon pictures. If you see a place where you think Pokemon might be hiding, use this pesta ball. It's easy. Press B when you're not focusing your camera. This will make hidden Pokemon come out into the open. Shall I repeat this information? No, thank you. Oh yeah. So we've not been streaming for very long tonight, but since we started so very late. I think we're going to have to call it for now. Okay, I don't want to stay up too, too late. Okay, I don't need to necessarily be up early tomorrow, but I've spent a whole lot of time not really taking care of my sleep schedule and uh, suffering pretty significantly for it. And my, sleep, my stream schedule suffered a lot for it too, because I simply did not have the energy to stream on a lot of days. So, it is time to get wrapped up. Uh -huh. We will save. Yes. 
and then we will conclude. I'm looking forward to seeing your new shots. All right, and Twitch has decided to load. Oh, okay, Twitch did not decide to load, actually. It looked like it was trying to load there for a second, but didn't quite manage. Hmm. All right, so... Um... I think we've got okay. We've got we've got we've got we've got website. Website is here. Oh nope, it's reloading again. Uh, all right. So we do not have website apparently. Well, <laughs> I guess this is as good a time as any to mention that I am thinking about getting a new laptop. Of course, this wouldn't be as big of a deal. It wouldn't be as big of a deal if I had my desktop set up, but I had to move that around today. I didn't have to. I wanted to, but... but yes. Oh, I also realized, I think I forgot... Or no, no, I didn't. Never mind. I was going to say, I thought that I forgot the, the intro to the game, but no, I did not. I was simply talking during it, and so I was not uh, paying attention to the intro. So... I would like to know who is streaming. Okay, we've got... Alright. Alright, we got it. Okay. Nope. So. <laughs> if anyone has any raid suggestions, uh, which doesn't want to work right now, so I am... I managed to... I managed to open up a tab with one of the people that I follow. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to follow up on the raid. Uh, <laughs> necessarily. Uh, no, it seems that their, their page is at least loading. So since my home, my Twitch homepage, uh, won't work, this might, this might be all that we got, basically. But yeah, anyway, if anyone has any raid suggestions, I would be delighted to hear them. If not, uh, I, I may not have very many options. You know, I can see the other people who are online. I can see the other people who are online, but no, I've already got a I've already got this window open, so if if nobody else has any specific suggestions, I think we'll go with this one. Sort of a reversal from what I usually say at this time. But yes. So I think Yeah, I feel like I can estimate a two to three two to three total streams for this particular game. That seems like a reasonable, uh, 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 reasonable assumption at this point. But yes. So, what else is there to say? I don't know, not much, I guess. But yeah, pretty straightforward. I think I just said, uh, or I was going to say, and maybe I interrupted myself, but I'm thinking about getting a new laptop to replace my laptop that I'm using right now. But yeah, so that should happen soon-ish, you know. I don't know that's going to happen right away, but, you know, whenever it does happen, we will have a much smoother, easier streaming experience, ideally. And if not, well, you know, that would be pretty weird, actually, because this laptop's like eight years old. <laughs> it's eight years old, and it's like, and it's like 50% broken. It used to be 75% broken, but I managed to unbreak it a little bit. But I did also break it a little bit more in the process. <laughs> That's a story for another day, though. Because unfortunately, like I said, you know, I want to... I'm going to be especially strict with myself and my sleep schedule for the time being. Because I don't want to... I don't want to mess things up, basically. So. Given the lack of any suggestions... Oh, well, yeah. Business, right. So, tomorrow, Tales of Arise, 7.30 p.m. Central Time. Nothing should be too different there. Wednesday, or no, tomorrow's Wednesday. Let's try that again. Thursday? No, no. But yeah, we should do... It should be the usual. As of as I understand it, Sheps is not planning anything, anything different. So, we should see more of the usual VA-11 Hall A Cyberpunk Bartender action also known as Valhalla. Yeah, we should see some more of that. I just bumped the microphone, but I didn't hear it. 
So hopefully, hopefully that the that just wasn't picked up. But let's see, where was I? Oh yeah, chefs. The lab tomorrow for Thursday, 8:30 p.m. Central Time, approximately. And then Friday, uh, I can't guarantee anything because I have some additional holiday plans going on. Um, I'm going to endeavor to make that happen, the Friday stream happen, but I cannot guarantee anything at this point. Because, yeah, like I said, since the last time I streamed, since the last time I talked about it, I've, yeah, things have come up. Things, or rather, I've been made aware of.